Yes, hi, this is Ron Tanner. I'm here with Becky Renfro Brabola of Renfro Foods. She's a senior vice president and Lou Foa of Foa International. These two wonderful people have contributed a lot to the industry and are going to be inducted into the Hall of Fame. So you're not quite a Hall of Famer till four o'clock tonight, but you will become four o'clock. So Becky, I'd like to talk a little bit about your company and also talk a little bit about your service to the industry. So my grandparents started the company in 1940, and I'm part of the third generation along with my brother and my cousin running the company. And um, we just, it's, we have a line of salsas and relishes and jalapeno peppers and cheese sauce and barbecue sauce. And uh, we're in all 50 states and about 30 countries. And you just keep, you keep, keep expanding from what I've seen. You have a new warehouse or a new factory? We're just, uh, hopefully by the end of June, we're in our new shipping warehouse. We added on to shipping, which is a good problem to have. That means we are making a lot of product and selling a lot of product. So we love that. And um, I actually have volunteered for the Specialty Food Association for about 22 years now. And I served on their board of directors and I uh, served as chair and then I was past chair and then came back and served as co-chair with Trish Wanhanka. And that was a lot of fun being co-chairs together. No, that's great. And you contributed so much to the growth of the association. Just think what it was like 22 years ago. I know. It's unbelievable how the show has grown. Uh, we grew our business at the show, uh, meeting with distributors, retailers. Uh, and that's how we grew our business and ended up being in all 50 states. Lou, tell us a little bit. You were kind of born into the industry, I sure from what was. I understand. So talk a little bit about your business, your family, and you know what you've contributed to the association as well. I will. Well, thank you. Um, so, as Ron said, I was practically born in this uh, industry in 1951. My father, with seven of his friends, started the Specialty Food Association here in New York. Uh, they, the first show had eight booths, and it was the eight of them uh, exhibiting and trying to introduce gourmet specialty foods to the United States back in the early 50s. From there, uh, in, after college, I uh, entered the industry uh, full time uh, with my dad. And then um, we've been, ever since, since the late 80s, we've been manufacturing products, private label for all the major chains in the country, mostly Italian products. And um, I have worked uh, for the Specialty Food Association on a volunteer basis, with as with Becky, for over 22 years on every committee and in every facet of the association. And I've seen it grow into really what my father and his friends envisioned what it would be uh, back in 1951. So, so why was it important for you to give back to the industry? Well, obviously family tradition, but more than anything, like Becky said, my business grew being here. And we had the opportunity, because of the association, to, to grow our business, to create new products, to introduce products to the United States. And uh, it was just something I, I felt I wanted to do and I needed to do. And I thoroughly enjoyed doing every, every time I volunteered for, uh, whether it was admissions, whether it was strategic planning, education, whatever it was, it was another facet of this industry that I felt like I could contribute to. So Becky and Lou really show the breadth of the industry. We have an important domestic manufacturer and somebody who's brought in some of the leading Italian products in the United States. Becky, what does it mean to you to be inducted into the Hall of Fame? Oh, I just think it's a wonderful, I'm just so excited. I've never been a Hall of Famer. <laughs> I'm like, oh. Not even in the Rodeo Hall of Fame? <laughs> Not even in the Rodeo Hall okay. of Fame. I think I have to ride a horse to be in there. <laughs> but no, it's just uh, a wonderful honor, and I'm just so excited. Um, you know, I gave back. Um, I love giving back because I've been giving so much. My life is so enriched, and I have so many friends in the especially food industry, uh, and it's just it's just a great industry. We're family. It's not just your company, my company. We're all a big family. And so it's such an honor to be honored as a Hall of Famer. And Lou, what does it mean to you? Well, I never went into it looking for an honor or anything. It was just more just giving back and helping a lot of young companies that wanted didn't know how to enter the market. And hopefully if I could show them and help them not make the same mistakes that some of us made, it would benefit them. But as an association, it was just wonderful to see it grow. And, uh, you know, I don't plan on stopping. 
I can, I'm hoping to continue uh, giving back to the association. Great. Well, thank you very much. The Hall of Fame ceremony is going to be tonight at four. This is going to be broadcast on Monday. So, you know, people can see, you know, what you're thinking about. And you can read about everybody that's been inducted into the Hall of Fame at SpecialtyFood.com. There's a lot of people in this industry and, you know, we're shaping the future of food. But through the years, the association has, you know, really shaped what America eats. And you've done that with salsa. You've done that with you know, some pesto and some other different things. So really, thank you for what you've contributed to the association, but also to, to America and the way consumers eat in the United States. Thanks. Thank you, Ron.